I'm Joanna, the editor of Quilts and More magazine. When hanging wall quilts, I have to be especially careful because I have plaster on my walls, so I can't put any holes in them. So today I'm going to show you how to hang a wall quilt using command hooks or other options that don't put holes in your walls. Now there are a few things that you're going to need to hang your quilt. First, you can need the quilt itself. I suggest a quilt that's not particularly large, just because larger quilts will probably get too heavy to be supported by the command hooks. Next, you're going to need some rubbing alcohol and some cotton swabs, which you're going to use to just lightly clean your wall before you put the quilt up. And then you have the command strips themselves. Now I like this type, which is specifically made for hanging picture frames, and it has two strips that um, have Velcro on them and split apart. So as you can see, there's two strips there, which is what this unit looks like when it's pulled apart. And then one goes on your wall, and then the other one goes on what you're hanging, which in this case would be your quilt. After you've gotten your command strip up on the wall, you need to figure out how to attach the other end to your quilt. There are a couple different ways that you can do this. So for example, there are several different hook options in different styles. You could use those and then put hanging loops on the back of your quilt. I'm actually not going to do that though. Uh, as I mentioned before, I prefer to use the picture hanging type hooks, which you can see I have in the corners of my quilt. They can actually hold quite a bit of weight provided that you've cleaned your wall and you attach them properly to your project. Now this one I've already stuck on and as you can see, it's, uh, it's on there pretty firmly. Um, I'll probably just give that a couple more good presses, just put a little weight down on it and I should be ready to hang this quilt by matching up the hooks on this end with the hooks that are on my wall. There is my finished quilt up on the wall, ready for the summer holidays. As you can see, there are no holes. Uh, my plaster is unmarred and it is hanging up there just with the command hooks that I showed you earlier. Now, one bit of practical advice, you'll notice that that end table is pulled pretty far away from the wall right now. Uh, I've learned from past experience that sometimes command hooks do fail, especially if you live in a high humidity area or your wall is particularly dirty. So I just like to move anything that um, the object on the wall might fall into if the hooks fail. Um, just move it away for about 24 hours or so. I usually find that if your object stays on the wall for the first 24 hours, it's probably going to stay up for a good long while. So just a bit of caution. I'll move it back once I know for sure that it's going to stay up. 